Hey everybody, PJ here. I'm gonna show what I made the other day to when the power went out, switch in between my my power supply and my battery, which I ain't got it hooked up right now. But uh I need to get me a cut off for it so I'm gonna charge it anyways. But I made this knife switch here and I got a let me turn the radio off here. So this side's powered to the power supply and I just made a uh, a single pole double throw I probably could have made a double pole double throw and made it a little bit better uh, but I made it from scratch so I didn't want to bend all those pieces but anyway this way and it works good so switch from the power supply to the battery you just put it over just like that so I got all my grounds from my uh, uh, power supply, uh, battery, uh, and equipment all on this terminal. This is the power from the power supply. This is the power from the battery. All my power uh, positive leads to my equipment. So I'm going to go back over just like that. Now I'm on my power supply. and works pretty good plus it kind of neatened up all my wires they were all bunched up on the back of the power supply and then when i needed the battery i'd have to take them loose so that made it a little bit better but then a really good friend of mine made me this henry ag4qg what a guy i can't even say enough about him he's done so much for me uh this is a uh, Allen and Bradley uh, AC uh, relay, and he's got it wired up so it'll plug in. Here, I'll plug it up. So when it's plugged up to the power, hear that switch. So that way, when the power kicks off, it'll go normally open and normally closed, and make that open. But there you go. But I'll show you what that looks like once I get it all hooked up. And just to show how he's got it wired up before I get there. The AC comes in on these two terminals here. And I'm going to hook my power supply positive up to this side. The negative to this side. The uh, battery positive this side. Battery negative this side. And he even labeled them for me. that Because he knows how I am. And then he gave me this little... Uh, terminal block here but after making that right there which works but this is going to automatically do it so once i get it all hooked up we'll see if it uh how fast it switches once the power goes out uh okay so i'm gonna get that hooked up so i'll be back here in a little bit i still gotta solder some new ends because they're gonna be different uh terminals i gotta put uh, these right here on there instead of the uh, round ones so I'll be back here in just a little bit. It's going to take me just a little while. All right, everybody. PJ back. I've got everything wired up. Cleaned up my workstation as best as I'm going to. Uh, I want to show you this thing. This is awesome. <laughs> now, this probably could be used for a lot of different applications other than, well, I know it can be used for a lot of other applications other than just radio, but, uh, power anything off the battery that you that runs off a battery or 12 volt and this thing will switch over when you, the power goes out I'm gonna switch around here and show you what I okay got it plugged in right there in my surge protector radios are on the battery is hooked up and then this beautiful thing power supply it's hooked up and turned on Right now my radios are running off of the power supply. So you can see how I got this thing wired up. I got all my cables. And one thing I gotta do is get some more of these little uh, cable ties or wire ties. And I'm gonna put these on here and clean that up a little bit because I don't like how they're just hanging and sagging. So I'll get that fixed up. But you got the AC running into the back. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to hit the camera. That's what that one is back there. 
and then power supply are the two outside ones two inside ones are the battery both go down to this terminal block I got it all wired up I got them in order one one two three so uh, one radio two radios and the charger for my FT3DR all right I'm gonna sit this right here and you'll hear this thing click because it's got a pretty good audible click when it uh, switches let me zoom out just a little okay sit there I'll get it where you can kind of see all of it but anyway it's back here powered up to power I'm gonna turn the surge protector off we'll see if the radios go off so I'm in the middle of a radio or whatever listening uh, one on and power comes out or well, I'm OCD when my radios get turned just a little bit <laughs> off drives me crazy anyway so I'm just gonna flip the uh, power off to the uh, surge protector now it's running off a battery now it's running off the 12 volt battery I'm gonna turn the surge protector back on Radios hadn't went on. AC came back on. Man, that's fast. That's a lot better than that little hand switch I had. Uh, battery power. That's awesome. All right. I ain't going to do this a whole lot, but uh, I'll do it one more time. There we go. That's pretty cool, man. And then there's my ground for my radio shack or all my equipment running out to the ground. And uh, I'm sure they make a cover for that. If I wanted to, I could put that inside a box or something and cover it up. But that's it. Uh, love it thank you henry ag4qg that is just awesome um, i don't know how else to say it look since i put that grounding on my uh, equipment there look that noise level and that's uh, of course ipo's off but on all of them i got a bunch of like it no noise and there's my battery i'll keep it hooked up to the charger I'll get a disconnect from my battery but uh, later on maybe of course it wouldn't work if I had it disconnected with it there you go of course I gotta put my surge protector back up to come off the screw alright y'all have a good day now it's time to get outside and enjoy some of this sunshine have a good one